Hi everyone. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing day. Um, I just wanted to jump on here uh, quickly today. It's Sunday in my world. Um, so whatever day you're watching this, it might not be Sunday, but today it's Sunday for us. And I usually use Sundays as a, you know, I take Saturdays off and then I kind of glide into Sundays and I do more personal things like potentially hair wraps and face masks, which are coming up in my day. Um, but I also do a lot of strategy work at night and I align my week and things along those lines. But I wanted to jump on today to talk about the past coming forth. And what do I mean by that? Because we're in this amazing energetic time right now. Um, it's amazing the flow that we're in, the light that's hitting the world, you know, our availability to transcend and ascend and open our eyes up and awaken has never been more fluent than it is right now. But alongside that exact same pathway is the path of the past, the pathway of our past. So meaning, what does that mean for us? Is that things that we thought we cleared, which we've talked about already this week, things that we thought we let go of, people in our world we thought we released and let go of, are starting to show back up. And for some of us, that is a really huge deal because some of us have really let go of these relationships or these people in our life or these habits or choices that we used to make. And they're coming up right now for us to look at and analyze and choose from. So if this is happening for you in your world, um, you are not alone. This is a, a pattern almost going on in the world right now of exposure. It's almost us being asked, and I did this in a previous video this week, but being asked if we really and truthfully believe in the future selves, believe in the pathway we're headed, believe in the light that is coming through and that we're maneuvering through right now. And we get to choose just like everything in our free will life here on earth, whether we're gonna step in or step backwards into that or step forward into the space that we're aiming for. And it doesn't mean it's, it's, it's gonna be easy, trust me. It doesn't mean that it's gonna be like this, like, oh, look at that, that guy just texted me again, amazing. And then you go choose over here. It's gonna be one of those powerful choices that you're gonna to have to make. Like you're gonna sit in this emotion and things are gonna come back through for you and show back up that you thought that you let go of and you are gonna be tempted. You're gonna be tempted to go back. You're gonna be tempted to step, step backwards and although there's never really a wrong and a right way, there's a, I want to get to this space faster way. And there's a choice over here that says you'll eventually get there, but we're going to create other circumstances around that if you choose to go back this way. So either way is okay. And there's no judgment coming off my part. And there's no judgment coming off of us spiritual light workers in the world moving ourselves forward. The judgment is on you. Now, you need to really recognize and look at, do you want to go backwards here? Or do you want to go here in the now moment, creating this now version of you, we'll say. And you get that choice. And granted, this might look okay. This might open up emotions. And one of the key things is it might open up emotions. Don't let it derail you, okay? Don't let it suck all your energy today. Don't let it take all this light from you. Don't give it away to this space over here. Don't allow these circumstances, this energy, this box that just showed up, almost cramping your style to cramp your style. Don't give it to them. Don't give it away to that. You've done the work already. Make the choice if you want to keep moving in this pathway of light, abundance, connection, peace, gratitude, stay in the lane because it's gonna be tempted and you're gonna remember potentially things or it's gonna like bring up these emotions that you thought you had cleared in connection to what that relationship meant. So don't let it do that for you. I believe in you and I believe that you can maneuver through this really quickly if you choose to. But the real aspect of this is you have to make a choice. You have to choose that this piece of your world, this pathway over here is brighter, and more full of love and more in tune with who you are than what this delivers. So on the Sunday, sending you guys out lots of love and lots of light from my part of the world to you. Have a great rest of your day.